Rodney Honey here with GoosenTutorBoxing.com. I'm here with Mike Ruiz. Mike, every fight that you've had has been explosive. Is it because of your extensive amateur background that think brings you so well-rounded? Um, a lot of my amateur background has a lot to do with it. Um, every time I fight, I fight with the intensity of knowing I have to win. And this is pros, you know, this is not no games anymore, there's not no amateurs, there's not no next year. It's now or never. So when I go in there, I'm in the intention to, intentions to win. And that's what I'm in there for. Man, you've got a great camp, man. Let's talk about your camp because it's people that bring you here. It's a team that bring a champion out. Yes, I mean, people always think it's it's always starts in the ring. It always It's always a ring, but it starts off with your team. You know, I have my father, the manager, Deep Pooler, as my, my trainer, world-class trainer. Deep Pooler taught me so much things that you don't even know. And I got Repo Rick. He's the one who brought me to the goose and you know, exposed me to who I really am out here. And then got me in through the door. Now I'm, I'm here, and they, they show me, and they're always around me, telling me, teach me like a champion, and I'm always there. That's why I come out, and I know I have a good team behind me. I have the support and the backup that I need. So when I go in the ring, I have no doubt knowing that I'm ready. A lot of fighters come in here before their fight, mm -hmm. loked out, anxious. You're calm because you know when to turn it on and off, huh? Yeah, it's, it's like a light switch now. You know, knowing, I know now knowing when to turn it on, and as also knowing that before a fight, if I'm anxious and, and walking around all day with intensity, then I'm going to have no energy left for the fight. You know, there's all the nervousness, all the anxiousness, and all the, all the anger inside you will always pop out. And when you're doing that, you, you're letting out a lot of energy, a lot of that you can actually put out in the ring. So right now, you know, just keep cool, keep calm. I'm not ready to fight yet. But when it's time to fight and it's time to get ready, I'm there. You also employ, obviously, the sweet science of boxing. But you mixing a little bit of martial arts into your boxing style as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm the same thing that's with, that's with my coach, my trainer, Deep Puller, a world-class trainer. He emphasizes on a lot of kickboxing and a lot of MMA fighting. They, they also put a lot of boxing into their style of fighting. They always bring it in. But in boxing, you never bring in the other sports or other arts into it. They've never been really done. But with, right now, with Deep Puller, when he's training, he's telling, teaching me, he's showing me how to fight with also the start, not, not art and the style of of other of other types of fighting. Been sacrificing a lot, man, to get to the point where you're trying to get to, huh? Yes, I mean everything I have to sacrifice. But you know, it's not a bad thing. A sacrifice can also be good, knowing that I know where I'm going to go, and it's making me a better person, also a boxer, and also making me more of more of a public figure towards people around my hometown, knowing that I, know, I got something, I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's making me a better person altogether, and, and I love my team. And then they, they're showing me a lot of love back, and we're, you know, we're to go but up. This fight coming up, should we expect more fireworks from this fight? Or it's not going to be anything different from you, from yeah. Michael Reese, is it? Um, we will see. Um, it always depends on the other boxer. What he brings out is what I'm going to serve him back. But I'm always coming out with intensity and always coming out with something new. And I love my fans, and they always, they always see me I always coming with something new. One thing your fans have to appreciate about you, no matter what, you get hit, that's, that's the fight game. I saw you get dropped and come back with a vengeance, but yet you stay with that focus, though. Yeah. You didn't get crazy and sloppy with that reckless abandonment. I mean, that's what boxing's about. That's what boxing is. That's what boxing is about. It's, it's not a street fight, and you can't let your temper get in the way of anything. You know, this is still a sport, and what he did to you is part of the sport. So when you have to, go, when you get back up and knowing that that guy knocked you down, you can't let him do it again. But you also got to keep in mind and. and intact to where it's not going to happen again but you still got to figure them out too and so when you come in there you know it's all about the mind and, and the body and you can't just go in there and lose your mind and just try to use your body because then you get caught